Employment on one side, underemployment on the other side, but still people who get to work, there are a lot of people. But still, with all these opportunities, and even people earning big time, uh, people earning, I should say, six digits or even more than that, they find themselves financially stressed. And one of the prime reasons being the loans, the debts that they have gotten themselves involved into. So I'm going to talk to you and I believe that this is going to really bless you and God is going to really deliver you from the challenges that you've been facing even in the area of uh, loans. And it is God's desire that God wants you to be free from debt. When we look at the scripture in Romans chapter 13 verse 8, Paul writes, I believe, it's, it's something like a golden rule in the financial life of a believer. Romans chapter 13 verse 8 says, Oh, no one anything except to love one another. For he who loves another has fulfilled the law. So, oh, no one anything except to love one another. There can be only one kind of debt that is really allowed by the Bible and that is, you know, we have a lot of debt to love each other because on one side Christ loved us and gave himself uh, for us when we did not deserve it, when we did not even understand it. We were sinners, we were enemies to God when we were weak. So on the other side, when we have received such unparalleled, unconditional love, we need to extend that love to people around us who don't deserve it. So that is the only kind of debt the Bible openly speaks and permits. Oh, no one anything except to love one another. And uh, there is a question, is borrowing right? are wrong according to the Bible. Now, the Bible doesn't explicitly, openly, you know, condemn or it doesn't uh, label borrowing as wrong. But it does give us certain indicators which should help us to understand that the Bible doesn't also license uh, borrowing. All the same, we need to be extremely cautious about borrowing. 